I'm Russian, I'm from St. Petersburg. I studied in a very famous ballet school by name Vaganova. We know uh, many great dancers from this school as Baryshnikov, Noriev, Makarova. They're very famous here. And uh, I'm from the same school. So I'm great, uh, grateful for the education this school gave me. And uh, I'm grateful to give my knowledge, my education, my experience to people here in the United States, especially in New York. New York is a very special place because it's kind of Babylonia, you know, here, here you can find people from all around the world, all nations, all cultures, everything is mixed, a lot of crazy people <laughs> too. So it is beauty of New York. And also you can find here all styles of Bali. You can find French school, English school, Russian school, uh, American school, uh, Balanchine style. So that's the beauty of New York and beauty of this school, our school, Bali Arts, uh, particularly because it, it offers all these different kind of uh, styles, Bali styles. This way the dancer is more complete. You're not stuck just with something particular. But when you go to, to work in any company here in New York, you can find about maybe 200, maybe more. In these companies, a choreographer wants to see complete dancer who can make uh, any movement, who can dance any style. And that's what we offer, so you can study uh, and you can be complete, you can be a complete dancer. That's what I like about this school. Well, when I go to some like bigger studios, I usually feel, I feel intimidated a little bit. I'm just, sometimes I'm lost in a big building, I don't know where to go. Ballet Arts allows a small studio, it's friendly. It's a family size, family style studio, very comfortable, very warming. And here people will talk to you, especially if you're new. Instructors, they pay a lot of attention to the new students too. And the space is just amazing. <laughs> it's huge, you know, it just, you can find us in other places. That's the most beautiful space here in New York. Because you hardly will find uh, other studio so big, so huge, without supporting Columna in the center. So dancer can really dance, can really go. For me, it's unimaginable to dance between Kalum. You know, it's, it's difficult, it's difficult. It's fabulous, it's natural light, and it really helps the students open up to space. And once you start taking classes here, you cannot go taking classes at this tiny little studio. We have open studio system where anybody can come in and take classes. Uh, we also have a student visa program. Historically, we had more Japanese students here than any other school. But then in the last few years, we had more diverse students. Well, I'm from Taiwan, so when I came here, I just like, I can imagine like my life starts at 5 o'clock in the morning and I finish at 10 o'clock at night or 11 o'clock at night. I had to get up to, to the class and in the afternoon you have to rehearse and night you have to run to a restaurant job, a catering job or you te a teaching job, teaching children's Pilates, yoga, every like dancers as a side job. Just have to have a lot of strength to stay dancing. Very tough, <laughs> very, very tough. I think people have idea of New York being competitive and sort of a little harsh and hard but if you're scared about that aspect of New York then maybe this is the place that it is friendly we have small staff so everybody knows each other if you come maybe twice in a row we'll remember you we're trying to support each other we're trying to explain and the ambient very open very friendly it is tough in the same moment it is very fresh I think you will find here a lot of fresh things. Here you will find uh, a lot of moments, uh, difficult moments, in maybe, in maybe to study and find yourself in, in New York and uh, find yourself as a dancer, but you will enjoy it. The process you will enjoy.